My thing is to create chances, like this is why I play, because I want to ask you every question, you know, to defenders, like I want to see everything, if you can solve it or not. My name is Dan Klusevski and this is Next in Line. First time I played football outside of our house, I played with the guys that lived there. Then suddenly one parent saw me playing and he went straight up to my mom and told her that uh, I have to play football and that, I, that I'm real talented and that we, she had to write me to, to a soccer team. My favorite player is Eden Hazard. Nobody plays like him and I was so happy that I could watch him play. I was in school and thinking about yesterday, Hazard's gonna play and I'm gonna home and, and enjoy 90 minutes of his football. So he was my, my biggest football idol in, in the pitch. My favorite memory of Champions League is when Goran Pandev scored for, for Inter and they won against Bayern München in the last second. I remember how proud me and my family was, you know, that he was Macedonian, like I'm from, so we were just proud that he, that he could score such an important goal and uh, that was a big thing. It was the best days, you know, Tuesday, Wednesdays, nine o'clock in Sweden. I was there with popcorn, with my family, watching the teams, watching the best players of the world. You know, the, the blue lights, the, the stadium, the, the trophy, the song comes in my mind. And, and in the beginning, I didn't even believe that I could play, you know. But then, you know, after some years, uh, it happened. I met an agent from Italy that saw me in a tournament, I've been 15, 16 years, and then the idea came about maybe I have to go to, the, to Europe, you know, to leave Sweden and become a man and, and fight with the, with the best players. The strongest interest was from Atalanta and I went there. I don't know if I was ready, but I, it was just a chance that I had to take, you know. So I went there with like literally you no know, in zero Italian. I, I lived alone without my parents, but I could not give up because like my biggest idols in life never gave up. I never saw my father complained so that was not an option and then after time it got better I started speaking fluently Italian uh, after six months uh, school was getting better and uh, I started getting better in football I started seeing results so that's when Italy started feeling like home I remember my debut in Champions League quite good it was under Pirlo and I was starting that game. I remember I was so happy. I was like, now nah, finally, this is the big stage and this is where I'm gonna score my three goals in my debut and all of that. And then we won the game, but I remember that I was, I was not happy after the game because I wanted to do so much more, you know? But that's a good thing because then you wanna train more and you wanna get, be better the, the next game. Coming into this game against Zenit was 0-0. I didn't feel even good in the game. I'm famous because I'm not very good with my head, like we always joke about that. But I know that sometimes in games when I get the ball on my head, like I can always score. And it was just a fantastic goal and I remember that I, not, I didn't even celebrate because it was just like a relief, you know. This first stadium, it's amazing. I think it's the best arena in the world. And the love I'm getting from the fans is the best feeling. Like, I'm so happy the day before I have a home game because I will meet the fans, I will play on my favorite grass. It's really, really my home. Antonio reminds me a little bit about my dad, to be honest, you know, because you see them work, you see him never complain. And I look up to him, actually, because like, I think I never met a man that wants it more than him. The thing that surprised me the most is the physical part, like doing gym almost every day, going out, doing sprints. After that, maybe he tell you it's, a, it's another training in the afternoon. Like you think you are completely finished and you left it out. But then after two hours, you are there running for two more hours and doing like 10 kilometers again. That's something that like I think it, it's fun. It's, it's crazy to say, but sometimes suffer is, is, a, is a nice feeling. What we're doing in the gym is not normal strength training. It's like you have to use your whole body. And they don't want you just standing around and lifting weights. They want you to be like in a match situation where people can, can come and push you and you still have to have your balance, you know? So we do a lot because Conte, he wants to help us. He wants to like give you the tools before the games. He wants to, to tell you what can happen. They always come to me sometimes before the games telling me about the left back, he's good in this, he's bad in this. And you know, it's good information. It's so much details in football, so like everything can be for help. You can always 
improve on everything. And my thing is to create chances. Like this is why I play because I wanna ask you every question, you know, to def defenders. Like I wanna see everything if you can solve it or not. And, and if it doesn't work, I'ma keep doing it. And this is the thing where like I'm improving. That it doesn't matter if I make mistakes one time, two times, three times. Because if I do it right the fourth time, then we will score and then we probably win. I think I'm on the right path. I'm enjoying a lot when I play. I watch the teammates I play with, what they are good on, what are the qualities, how can I make Kane score, how can I make Sonny score. So, you know, I, I enjoy a lot and, and I feel that I'm improving every day and becoming a, a important player. A winner, that's what I want to be. I want to win and, uh, and win the big titles, win the World Cup, win the, win the Champions League. So a guy that won a lot, but respected everybody and was a, I was a good teammate and always brought energy every day to, to the training and always thankful for the life that, that God gave me.